Alright, the last thing that we need to do is we need to make our three web pages into one website. So we need to link the three together. So you can have a look on W3Schools on how to link pages. So basically, this is what you would use to link to external websites. And you would use local links to link to your other web pages. Now, I just want to show you something that's very important. In your href, you will refer to the file name of the other web pages. Okay. So of the other actual files. And this is the file name of the actual other file. Okay. And please, you can't include the whole file path. This is a very common mistake that you include the whole file path. And then it will work on your computer, but it won't work on your teacher's computer when he or she marks it. And it won't work when they do external moderation because they are not working on your C drive users, whatever your file path is. So please make sure that you just use the file name as is there and you need to specify the file extension as well. So this is the type of link that you will use. Remember, you need to keep your navigation consistent. So you'll see here, even though I'm on the home page, I can still see the home page link. So if I go to findings, I can still see findings. If I go to conclusion, I can still see conclusion and bibliography. And the three links are still in the same position. Same here. If I go to the different page, ah, oh, here's a problem. See, I think the link is still there that she just made it a different color. So there's a problem. Even though all three links were there, I just couldn't see them. Okay, so make sure you can see all three links. Let's trace test this one. Do you see what this learner did? All the links are underlined except the one that you're on. But all the links stay in the same position. They don't change position. But the one that you're on looks different. It doesn't have to. This is just a nice technique to show the person where you're at. The big thing is just that these can't change position. And um, on conclusion, I need to be able to go back to home page. I need to be able to jump to findings. I need to be able to jump to basics. I need to be jump to be able to jump in between them however I want to. And at no point, there, there can't be a dead spot. So there can't be something that doesn't work. It has to be able to work which on whichever page I am. I need to be able to click. So from the home page, you need to click and test that you can go to all the other pages if you have more than one um, or if you have more than two, basically. All right. Please test, test, and test again. Okay. Last thing, for four extra marks at the end, you can get marks for two extra tags that you use that is not in our curriculum. So there is a tag list at the end here, HTML tag list, that you can go have a look at. Now, the marks work like that. You get a mark for using a tag that is not in our curriculum, and a mark for using it appropriately. So you need to use it appropriately. You can't just use it randomly anywhere. Okay. So here's a tag list. It's ordered alphabetically. Have a read through it. You can't just use it anywhere. And it's, you know, you can't just type it in and use it for something silly. It has to actually work and it has to actually be meaningful. It has to be suitable. So if you use this one, it actually has to define an abbreviation or an acronym. You can't use it for something else. Okay, so I'm going to save this in the folder anyway, if you don't have internet access, and I will link to this site anyway in the description below the video, so that if you want to have a look for some tags, so that you can get those four extra marks. Okay, and that's it for the pet. We're done. I hope this made your life easier. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below and let me know how we can improve this for the years to come and for the next year's matrix. Enjoy your day and good luck with the finals, guys.